Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will talk all about Carmi Corso's magnificent look, and the official standard of this breed. If you never heard of the Carmi Corso name before, you are welcome to see our video with the history of this breed. The link to it must be here. There are some differences between the Carmi Corso standard throughout different kennel organizations. There are not many canine organizations in the world that have the right to establish dog breed standards. In fact, there is only one world organization, the FCI, Fédération Cynologique Internationale. Thanks, René, or in English translation, ICF, International Canine Federation, located in Thuin, Belgium. There are 98 members of the FCI, represented by the National Kennel Clubs and three partners. The partners are the American Kennel Club, AKC, Canadian Kennel Club, CKC, and UK's The Kennel Club, KC. We chose to rely on the FCI's standard as the largest and most known world organization, but if you live in Canada, UK, or the US you may specify the Carney Corso standard for your country. We will leave a link below in the description to have quick access to your country club with the Carney Corso standard. The general purpose of such an organization as FCI is to preserve the breed in its original state. These include typical appearance, temperament, movements, capabilities, the ability to performing tasks or work, and keep the breed healthy and sustainable. The statute of the FCI and the nature of the cooperation between FCI and national kennels would be revealed in a separate video sometime later. But let's get back to the Carney Corso standard by the FCI. Carney Corso's general expression is that of a medium to large size, robust, strong and at the same time elegant dog. Carney Corso is lean and muscular. Outlines of the dog are rectangular, approximately 11% longer than the dog's height. The length of the head is 36% of the dog's height. Since Carney Corso is a utility dog its behavior and temperament are formed by the job it's used to do, such as property and livestock guarding, herding cattle, and participating in a big hunting game which makes Carney Corso extremely agile and responsive. Those acquired character features and temperament must be present in the modern purebred Carney Corsi. The head of Carney Corso requires closer attention as the most characteristical part of the Carney Corso body. The head is large and corresponds to the molossoid type. Those axes of the skull must be slightly convergent but without visible wrinkles. The skull at the cheekbone arch is broad and its width equal to the length. Convex in front but flat behind the forehead as long as the occiput. The furrow in the middle of the frontal lobe is distinct, begins at the stop, and ends at the middle of the skull. The stop is well defined with projecting frontal sinuses. Let's see what facial region must look like for purebred Carney Corso. The nose must be black, large, placed on the same line as the nasal bridge, and have ample open nostrils. The muzzle must be strong, square, with a ratio to the skull 1 to 2. The front part of the muzzle is flat, and the side parts are parallel. The broadness of the muzzle is equal to its length. Seen from the side the muzzle is deep, while the profile of the nasal bridge is straight. If seen from the front, upper lips form an inverted letter U at their meeting point, if seen from the side, lips hang moderately. Lips from the side cover the lower jaw, and outline the profile of the lower part of the muzzle. Carney Corso's jaws are very large, thick, and carved. Undershot, according to FCI standard, but no more than 5 mm. Level bite is still tolerable, but not sought after. In the cheeks area, the masseter region is fully visible, but not bulging. Carney Corso's eyes are of medium size, close to oviform in shape, and slightly prominent, but never exaggerated. The eyes are set well apart in almost subfrontal positions. Eyelids are close-fitting. The color of the iris is correlating with the coat color, but the darker the better. Eyes expression is keen and attentive. The ears by the FCI standard are uncropped, triangular, drooping, medium by size, with a wide set on and much above the cheekbone arches. The neck is strong and muscular, the length equal to the length of a head. As was mentioned above the body of a Carney Corso is somewhat longer than the height. It's a sturdy build, but not square, with as distinct and rising above the croup level. The back of the body is straight, very muscular, and firm. The loin is short and strong, goes into a slightly inclined, long, and wide croup. The chest is well developed all through the reaches to the elbow. The tail is natural, set sufficiently high, very broad at the root. While in action is carried high, but not erect or curled. Now we will see what ideal Carney Corso limbs must be. 
Carney Corso's four quarters must be built up by a long, oblique, very muscular shoulder with a strong upper arm, straight and very strong forearm, elastic wrist, and elastic, but slightly sloping pastern. Four feet formed as so-called cat feet. The hind quarters of a purebred dog consist of long, broad thighs with a convex backline. The lower thigh of the hind quarters is strong, but not fleshy, with a solid, somewhat angulated knee. The hock joint is moderately angulated. The rear pastern is thick and dry. Hind feet are slightly less compact than forefeet. Above all said true car knee corso, according to FCI, must move or gait in a certain way. The most preferable gait is a trot or extended trot, but a long stride is acceptable too. Car knee corso's skin is quite thick and rather close fitting, while the coat is short, shiny, very dense with a slight undercoat of vitreous texture. The FCI distinguishes quite a few shades of the Carney Corso coat. To make it structured let's say there are black, grey, fawn, stag red, dark wheat colour, and brindle. The grey coat colours may be lead grey, slate grey, light grey. The fawn also has its shades. Light fawn and dark fawn. By the standard dogs with fawn or brindle, coats must have black or grey mask on the muzzle, which should not go beyond the line of the eyes. A small patch of white color on the chest, on the toe tips, or a bridge on the nose is acceptable. On completion, let's highlight Carney Corso's size and weight. For males, the height ranges between 64 to 68 centimeters, the weight is 45 to 50 kilograms, for females, the height is 60 to 64 centimeters, and the weight ranges within 40 to 45 kilograms. The height for both sexes may be more or less taller, but within 2 cm, while the weight should correlate with the size. As you may see, dog show judges have quite a job. But all Carney Corso admirers love this breed, not only for the exterior, but for its unique character as well. In the following video, we will talk about Carney Corso's temperament, behavior, training requirements, as well as other items. We hope this information will help to form a final picture of this magnificent breed and decide whether this breed is good for you. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe to the channel, leave your impression and see you soon.